chemistry lecture number seven, significant figures. And significant figures are sometimes called uh, significant digits. Significant figures are the number of digits in a measurement. 3.52 grams has three significant figures, one, two, and three. 3.5 grams has two significant figures, one and two. The more significant figures in a measurement, the more precise the measurement. The number of significant figures you can record in a measurement depends on what you can see when you use a measuring instrument. So here's a measuring instrument, a ruler with lines on it. Uh, each individual little line is a millimeter and the big numbers are uh, centimeters. And let's suppose I want to measure the length of a toothpick. So I would put the toothpick over here and then I would look at the end and I would see where the end of the uh, toothpick fell, how many lines over it falls. Now it's hard to see because the uh, lines are small and close together so I've drawn a close-up view of my toothpick next to the uh, ruler. Well if we look at this uh, we notice that the length falls between 6.3 and 6.4 centimeters. And we shouldn't write 6.3 because we can see it's more than 6.3. So we should write something else to indicate that it's more than 6.3 because we can clearly see that. Um, but we shouldn't write 6.4 because it's less than 6.4. So more than 6.3 but less than 6.4. Um, the last digit uh, we could probably write as well, we see that it's halfway in between. Halfway is 50%. So instead of calling it 6.3, we can call it 6.35 because it's 50% in between 6.3 and 6.4. So this will be 6.3 because we can clearly see it's at least 6.3. And it's about halfway over. So we'll put a 5 there to indicate that it's 50% in between the two. These two numbers, 6 and 3, we can clearly see. But this 5 right here, this 50%, it's an estimate. Uh, we are estimating that it's about 50% over. So that number is an estimate. Now when you see a measurement like uh, 4.3 grams, 556 meters, or 504.21 liters, uh, the first digits you see are known and observed, and the last digit on the right is an estimated digit. So the 3 here is estimated, the 6 here is estimated, the 1 there is uh, estimated. Now, when lines on a measuring instrument are close together, like they are on a ruler marked in milliliters, like this thing, uh, it can be difficult to estimate the last digit. All you can see is that the measurement is in between the lines, and you can't tell if it's closer to one line or another. So, these lines are pretty close together, and if a uh, measurement fell in between the lines, I don't know, with my eyesight, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was closer to that line over there or this line over here. If a measurement falls between two lines that are really close together, the best estimate is that it's halfway between, and the estimated digit is 5, since the measurement is 50% in between the lines. So in the previous example, um, I'm s assuming that the uh, lines are so close together that uh, I can't see any better than whether or not they're just in between. But if the spacing is large enough, we can see if a measurement is closer to or further from a line. And we can estimate the last digit with other numbers besides uh, five. So by way of example, here is a graduated cylinder. And you can see the lines here are spaced further apart than they are compared to our ruler right here. So here the lines are very close together and if something falls between it's going to be hard to estimate whether it's closer to one line or another. Here the lines are further apart and we can tell if it's closer to one line or another. So using our graduated cylinder as an example, let's see if we can uh, make a better estimate of what the last digit is. So suppose I've taken a graduated cylinder and I filled it up with water and uh, the measurement falls between 30 and 31. I'm going to go through several examples uh, to show uh, what the last digit's going to be. All right, so let's suppose that uh, we fill it up with water and the water line falls just above uh, 30 milliliters. So. When a graduated cylinder is filled with water, the water 
sort of curves, all right? So you read, this is called a meniscus, and you read the bottom of the meniscus. Now the bottom of the meniscus here, it's just above 30 milliliters, so why don't we call this as 30.1? So if it's just above the 30, we'll call it 30.1, all right? Let's go through another example. Suppose the water line falls a quarter of the way in between. Now, we're pretty good at estimating one half, and half of a half is one quarter, so estimating one quarter is not that difficult. All right, so this is halfway in between, and then halfway between the half is a quarter. So suppose that the water level fell a quarter of the way over. All right. So there's the bottom of our meniscus. If the bottom of the meniscus is a quarter of the way over, well, one-fourth is the same as uh, 0.25. So we can sort of round that to 0.2. So why don't we call this 30.2, okay? Now let's suppose that instead of one quarter of the way in between, it falls one third of the way in between. Again, human beings are pretty good at estimating how much one third of something is. So one third, eh, let's see. So yeah, I think one third would be about here. So, let's say our meniscus falls about a third of the way over. All right, so this is one third of the way over. One third is the same as 0.33, so we can just call that 0.3. A little squiggly lines means it's approximately equal to. So we can call this 30.3. All right, so if it's a third of the way up, we'll call it 30.3 milliliters. All right, well, what if it's a quarter of the way up? A quarter is one half of a half. So here's halfway. Um, oh, not one, uh, no, hold on, back up, we already did one quarter, one quarter was uh, 0 0.2. Uh, let's say that uh, it's just short of being halfway, so here's halfway, and so a little bit below that is right there, so, all right, it's just short of the halfway mark. Halfway is 0.5, and just below 0.5 is going to be 0.4. So let's just call this 30.4 milliliters. All right. You might see where this is going. Um, okay. And if it was at the halfway mark, we would call it 30.5. All right. And if it was a little bit above the halfway point, We can estimate halfway pretty well, but if it's a little bit more than halfway, why don't we call that 30.6 milliliters? All right. How about two thirds? Well, we can estimate two thirds pretty well. Two thirds, I guess. See, that's about one third, and that would be two thirds right here. So. This is two-thirds of the way up. Two-thirds is the same as 0.66, so we'll round that to 0.7. Why don't we call this 30.7 milliliters? All right. Now what if it was three-quarters of the way? Well, half of a half is a quarter, so here's one half, and then if I take this part and chop it in half up to here, that would be three-quarters. So... So this is three quarters of the way up. Three fourths. Three quarters is the same as 0.75, which is about 0.8. So we'll call this 30.8 milliliters. And what if it fell just short of uh, 31? Not quite 31, but just short, so why don't we call that 30.9 
milliliters. All right. So if the spacing is far enough, you can make these estimates all the way from 0.1 to uh, 0.9. That's how you do that. Now that's analog. What if we have digital? There's a digital display. So um, when you use a measuring device with a digital display, the last digit is still an estimate. Well, let me show you how that works. If I put this on here, I get 121.22. So this digit right here, the two is still an estimate. Why is it an estimate? Well, it's because this number can vary depending on the temperature conditions, air pressure conditions, uh, whether or not the wind is blowing. See, it's even fluctuating right now as we speak. If I blow on it, see, that can mess things up a little bit. All right. So the last digit is an estimate because we're writing it down under those exact conditions at a certain time. As time changes, the temperature and air pressure conditions can also change. So, hmm, so now it's at 121.25. Okay, best estimate, 121.25, although a few moments ago it was 121.22. Again, since this is changing, up, oh, see, it changed again, it's an estimate. All right. It's an estimate, even though it's a digital display. All right, so for a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number seven on significant figures.